Gardner and Deb here uh, at plant 225, Division 225, coaching Class Bs. We might be in a little area that some of you haven't seen before. Um, about six months ago, we added, we got another building that was behind our small, what I call the shoe box. And plant seven here is very long and linear, which really leads, its, or leads itself to being a really good uh, footprint for Class B production, automotive production. So what we're going to do is we're going to video our way through the back here. And one of the most, one, one item that I'm most proud of um, that about plant seven, and that's the, the plant that we're going to walk through, is the addition of our own service center. Um, a lot of manufacturers, particularly Class B manufacturers, uh, do not want to see uh, the Class B back of their customer. They want them to go to a dealership. Well, we understand um, the Class B customer is very transient. They go back and forth where a typical Class B customer may, um, uh, well, a typical RVer might go somewhere for two weeks and stay unhooked from their camper and stay two weeks. If a Class B um, customer has got uh, two weeks on their hand, they'll probably go 12 different places in, in two weeks, maybe 10, maybe eight. So they're, they're constantly moving and we gotta be here and set up for them to possibly drive through and get some quick adjustments done. So welcome to our new service facility. It's a lot like me, um, not much on the outside, but we get some stuff done on the inside. So real quiet in here, this is Matt, uh, Matt's area. You can see it looks like we're taking some cabinetry out. Um, got a, little, a van started there. And then you can see the production line um, in front of us. Uh, we can do refrigerator testing. We can do supplier testing when suppliers bring new products um, for us to vet. You know, a supplier says, yeah, this thing works. Well, we go and side-by-side -side test, and we, we even go a little bit further. Um, uh, one of the things that... Uh, uh, we did earlier in the year. You see some foam samples up there. I've been really trying to find some new foam opportunities for us out there. Well, we put them in the fridge, the freezer, the fridge to see if it changes the chemistry, if it changes hardness or softness. Um, the devil's in the details is, is from what I hear. So um, now we're walking through the, the, the service center, Matt's home office, and then we start the production line. And one really neat item, the chassis come from outside here. And before we would buy our seat covers and then um, we would send our seats out, they would recover them and then they'd ship them back here. Kind of redundant or kind of just a lot of moving parts, didn't need to do that. So what we did is we hired a gentleman here. He was actually the person that did the seats at the old seat place. So he can do about five to six seats a day, you can see his process. He's got a steamer, he's got his recover, he's disassembling the OEM cushions. This is a question a lot of people ask. How does this process happen? So you can see uh, he's got his own little system on how to do it the best way. He's been doing it a long time. Pretty simple, we take the OEM off, then we hit, it with, hit the uh, new skin with some steam and go through and, and hand fit. A really neat process, a refined process. Now we're right in the middle of a run of Novas. Um, as you guys can see on Novas, we do a couple things a little bit different. Um, one of the things that um, when we came out with the Nova, what we wanted to do was um, we didn't want to be like everybody else. Right now you got um, Jayco coming out with a Class B on the Dodge chassis. You got Thor Motor Coach with the sequence um, on the on the Dodge chassis. Um, they look exactly the same by the same company. Um, you've got Winnebago Travato out there in the Dodge. All of them look the same. You walk in and if you didn't take a notice of the emblem of the manufacturer, you wouldn't know the difference. So what we did is we asked our, our, our uh, we got into the chat rooms, Travato chat rooms, and said, okay, Travato customer, if you were gonna buy a Travato again, knowing what you know now, what are some of the things that you would wanna see? One of them was European acrylic flip up awning style dual pane windows. One fell right into our lap, which we're known for, much more insulation and better cabinetry. We hit all the checks. So the guys are wrapping up today. We got our awnings, our generators, 
Um, going forward from today forward, on the gas generator, we are into the new IRVQ quiet generator from Onan. Um, we will be getting the 2800 LP generator here in the next 30 to 60 days. Uh, we worked with Onan on this, prototyping, and uh, the new generator is phenomenal. It's very quiet. In the past, we've, in the past, we've touched on why we do some things a little bit different. Um, other brands out there use 4x8 sheet plywood, tongue of groove plywood. Well, if this van, I just took Gardner on a ride with a van, if we would have taken that van with tongue of groove plywood, most, most likely that tongue would have popped. We use 5 8 foot one piece. It gives a good foundation for the floor. Notice we lino left and right, front to back, okay? What some manufacturers will do is if they put the base kitchen base cabinet here, there will be no lino linoleum covering um, that area. They'll have a false bottom to the cabinet, and if there's water get in there, water's gonna get to what? Wood. The wood. So left and right, front to back. Um, even though we got marine grade OSB, let's keep moving forward, guys. Um, even though we got marine grade OSB, now we've got another redundant um, moisture barrier over the floor. Uh, we've had instances where uh, customers left their faucets on. Uh, didn't know, so it's a benefit to have that extra cover. Pulling the Dodge inside here. Up front we got some Fords. Now, this product we've used for a long time, and it, I, I probably made a mistake and I didn't gravitate to using it more and more and more. What this is, is every van, every van, every van, I'm sitting in a Dodge, every van, uh, Dodge, Ford, Mercedes. It seems like year in, year out, this material gets a little thinner and thinner and thinner. I think right now, Mercedes is the thinnest as far as roof structure. So when you get that, you get some reverb, okay? Just, just basic metal can vibration, okay? So, Cozy Wrap. We use this in every van. Every van that is purchased from us has Cozy Wrap application in the ceiling. So what does Cozy Wrap do? So one of the big things that Cozy Wrap does is it adds tensile strength to the van, to the, to the skin, okay? It just adds tensile strength. So where we put it, we layer the roof with it, okay? Okay, when we layer the roof with it, it adds tensile strength to each, each panel, but inside, Sorry, is the R38 reflective insulation. You see that layer of R38? So we put it underneath our floor. The hottest spot you're gonna pull up to is your campsite when you first pull up to it. Or a street or a parking, parking lot. lot. Yeah. Okay, 120, 130, 135. We wanna make sure we're radiating that heat down. Same thing, once you get to your campsite, your parking lot spot, now you're gonna have to worry about the roof and your heat from the sun. So having this application as a sound deadener and um, a thermal barrier, a reflective barrier um, is, is really nice. And Cozy Wrap is, is proven. It's used throughout the country. Um, Newell buses, Prevost buses, um, et cetera, et cetera. Next station will be setting the standard 330 amp AGM battery. Most all manufacturers, I don't know any manufacturer that's using a battery, standard AGM 330 amp battery. I don't know anybody that's doing that. I think everybody's using two, two group 31s, which gets you what, Gardner 220? Um, now we have the 330 AGM battery. It's been pretty much flawless for us. Um, you know, more reliability, more battery power, um, get you out earlier, let and you out, stay out, too. yep, more more compact. All in one location. The Cozy Wrap, I imagine, also helps make the air conditioner. Everything, by getting every, the vibrations. Yep. every element you add 
um, you know, you can go all the way to the suspension. When you add aftermarket or suspension like we do on sumos, it helps the whole van from the bottom up. It helps everything. So now you see the cozy wrap. Stage one, battery's been placed. Everybody knows we use a lot of hush mat. We love hush mat. Some guys use carpet, some guys use fabric material. We use the real thing, hush mat. Uh, starting to drop some solar leads. Um, roof vent cut out, this will be a rear bath. Some backer plates with Sikaflex. And the hinged windows. And the hinged windows, yep. yeah. that's a nice window. Yep. But it's insulated. It's insulated, yep. You've got that uh, air cap in the middle. Wire is getting ran. Wire come across. Wire harness is getting installed. One piece back. One piece showers and two piece showers. Some applications we got to use two piece. Typically we can get away with one piece. Just for serviceability, in some areas we do have two piece. Here's our rear backs being stored. And now we can see cozy wrap. See rock wool. So we, I guarantee you there's no class B van manufacturer today, mainline guy uh, manufacturer stuffing cavities like this um, with the rock wool. Um, can we get every inch? No. Um, the only way you can get every inch is expandable foam, which we've investigated heavily and we chose that uh, expandable, expandable foam is not an application for, for B van. We'll just leave it at that. But the rock wool coupled with the um, the cozy wrap and then the um, composite and uh, radiant shield on the bottom really addresses a lot of the insulation concerns in Class B's. And we know not a lot of people are concerned about insulation as manufacturers in Class B's because they don't put any in it. They just put minimal paint. In it. This is a tank. This is our new. Um, uh, the back side of our true tank sensor okay so our true tank sensors we switched to true tank last year and what true tank sensors are is they look like a metal detector and notice there's only one okay a typical tank would have one here one here and one here and those are your typical RV probes. And they're, they kind of look like a thermocoupler. And if hair or a string or toilet paper touch both, you'd get a false reading. Um, I didn't like the fact that you could only get 33%, um, 66%, and then, oh, honey, there's stuff in the toilet coming up. So the true tank is done um, um, based on water and there's only one sensor in there, okay? It can never foul up. Um, no toilet paper or anything in the black tank can, can give it up, make it give a false reading. But it gives down up to, uh, what, 5% increments, which is really good peace of mind. We've got our Trumas. Truma's been fantastic for us. Really an amazing company. Um, again, you'll hear me talk about this. We're really only so good as our suppliers. Truma, Xantrex, Firefly, Premier, not in that order, but those are our core suppliers that we give a lot of business to because they take care of us, they do things right, they treat our customers right. So our partners are very important to us. Uh, this is kind of the LI3 area, LI3 shop. You can see all of our connections. Big, big stuff, big wiring. That. Yeah. Yeah, that's a three. Yeah. That'll, that'll carry a lot of voltage. Yeah, that'll carry amps. a lot of voltage. A lot of amps. Yep, yep. Wow. Now, we got some customers in the field that occasionally ask to work on their own vans. Um, unfortunately, and fortunately, I'm um, obligated through a code of ethics that we just can't ship you these parts and pieces. We got to ask you to go to the dealership or come up here, okay, guys? Um, if, if something, while well, I'm sure you all are amazing electricians. Um, if something just would happen, I'd, 
I don't know what I do with myself. This isn't a water line. This is something that could really hurt somebody if done wrong. Yeah, you um, could you could arc weld with this. Oh, it's absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And some of these cables, you know, particularly this guy, that's a lot of current. And um, yeah. I know it's not what you want to hear, but it, it goes in part and parcel with us being a responsible manufacturer and and um, you know making sure we're. Um, doing the right thing by our customers. Got a bunch of relays, clamps. Here's all of our talon parts. And the talon parts are all of our bracketry, undercarriage bracketry. They're all powder coated, powder coated, battery box, tank hangers, um, more tank hangers. You see all of our tanks over here. Macerators getting ready to be put in on the next run after Nova. We don't put macerators on Nova. Got our standard 30 gallon tanks in the background. We use multiple different freshwater tanks and, um, pardon me, gray tanks and black tanks. We pretty common on our freshwater tanks. Here's our little eye wash area. So before, all the vans would get built in this little building and they'd go in from the side, go out, come back into QC, and then go back out. So it was a, kind of a big circle. So now we see very automotive. Really stretched the line, um, added some lifts. Uh, the guys absolutely love it, love it. We got a couple stations we need to fill. We're gonna be going to five a day in December, and we're gonna have to make some of those areas where there's nobody in there, actual work areas. So the vans, let's, let's go as the vans go. Vans come out here. All right, Gardner, see those uh, two ch rusty chassis? Right. The one with the zebra print is a 2019 Mercedes uh, body in white that we talked about with the Dodge in the back. And the one next to it is a Ford. And you can see, it's just pulled up floors, pulled this. Uh, the other day we were looking to mount something on the outside of a van and it was really nice because you could just take a die grinder or a cordless and zzz, zzz, zzz. Yep, yep, okay, it fits. Really neat. It's uh, kind of like a, a backup template. Yeah. Exhaust parts. There's battery boxes. So we come into electrical, immediately right into electrical. We saw some rough runs, some rough wire in the back in plant seven. Now we're putting it together. The Truma's in, the shower's in, true tank, black tank's in, true tank sensors mounted. Flip down, I love this flip down sink. Mm -hmm. It's a great flip down sink. And again, you guys, uh, you've heard us talk about our cabinetry. Um, we'll continue to talk about it until I'm blue in the face. I almost made, a, a lot of you know, I almost made a decision not to do this type of cabinetry. Um, um, and go from a for a cheaper, uh, more affordable RV type. But uh, I'm glad I listened to our customers. Um, the cabinetry is just phenomenal. Overbuilt, high quality. Um, you know, like I said, I just got my kitchen redone, and I should have went with uh, should have went with Cal, um, who makes these just about 10 minutes away. Just beautiful cabinetry, and uh, they do a phenomenal job. You know, most people wouldn't even have this here. Mm -hmm. um, they would have a piece of Lou on there. Um, yeah. That's furniture grade. And what do you call the, um, the joints with the screws? The, uh, uh, it's right here. It's, it's all screwed. Pocket screwed, pocket and then screwed. and then of course our drawers have the. Um, I didn't get that right. English dovetail. Really nice and clean. This unit, I believe, the white cabinetry is going to be going in here. White cabinet's been a huge hit. Getting ready to install the Coleman NDQ. Again, all the spots filled with rock wool. There's a 
white overhead cabinet. And again, I absolutely love the marine grade um, vinyl. It's uh, uh, the marine grade, marine grade PVC will not rot, not mold. Um, extra sound deadener, extra insulator. It's not plastic, it's not gonna rattle. And here you can peek your head in. You know, little 20 foot 11 coach and we still were able to fit a trash can drawer in, in a Nova. That's something that we have in all of our vans. It's something that you would not believe is, is uh, um, a big deal, having trash in location in all of our vans. Um, the Dodge has been a real home run for us, but where we've seen a lot of the activity this year is with that new Beyond all-wheel drive chassis. Um, quite a price increase on it. Um, but the chassis is phenomenal. The chassis is absolutely phenomenal. Um, very reliable. And here we go. Cabinet's getting set. Base cabinet in the rear got set. Partition set. Young man's getting ready for tomorrow. Doing the best job he can do for tomorrow, right? Boy. Here we're coming through plumbing. And again, you know your unit is insulated. Pop your trash can drawer out. I, 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 I challenge you to pop your trash can drawer out or another drawer in the base cabinet and send us pictures of what your current B-Van's insulated with. Yep. Now oh, we got lights like on. We've Ooh. got the lithium, 600 amp hour lithium batteries. Um, our logo was red because our battery was red a long time ago. So they switched the packaging on us, but I'm not switching the Li3 to blue. We're gonna keep it red. Here's your 600 amp hour battery. Again, why do we put it inside? Inside you can control thermostatically control the life of the uh, the, the temperature of the battery. Any through Truma, through through any way, so we always keep it inside. Always keep it inside. A lot of leads coming down. It looks like a awning motion sensor detector. Um, you see the second Firefly, um, the re the remote Xantrax switch. Again, with Li3, you get the 3,000 Xantrax. We have the the plumbing coming across, the route wiring coming across. I noticed on this one you also have the awning with the lights on the outside. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's awning a lot of extra cabinetry in this galleria there. It's two it's two feet bigger than your yeah. beyond. But that's two feet bigger. You know, it's just I see two foot of extra cabinets between the bath and the uh, yep. sofa. So the, the, the Nova, twenty feet eleven inches. The Ford, twenty two two. Or pardon me, twenty two four. The uh, Mercedes 24.2. So we have a good menu of chassis sizes and profiles that you pick the chassis you want. You get the same. You get the. Uh, you know the Nova's got about 90% of the same build as the Galleria does. It's amazing. The Galleria is twice as much as as the Nova. Yeah. But you get the awning. See the awning. Yep. Four wheel drive coming through. This is a 24 FL. And it's a little bit higher. A little bit higher. You're gonna be three. Yep, three inches higher. Now, on a on a note for Mercedes, one thing that we've been really working hard on is to become as Mercedes compliant as possible. And um, you've got wheels, you've got paint, you've got this and that. So this year, um, we had switched our paint supplier. Um, this the, this van goes now directly to a Mercedes dealership. This is exactly Mercedes approved. Um, it's beautiful. It, it gives some of the metallic that's in the uh, metallic paint, um, but it's Mercedes approved. So when they get done, the, deal, our, the dealership in Mishawaka get, punches it in the Mercedes system. This van's been painted by Gurley Leap, Mercedes endorsed. So if there's ever an issue, that customer now has a Mercedes endorsed paint job. Again, we're a master upfitter. If you're pulling your Mercedes, into a uh, into a Mercedes dealership and they say coachman this coachman that they shouldn't have done this Mercedes audits me once a year we're master upfitter if there's any problems make sure you call Greg in warranty um, give us a call we can help you with any Mercedes issues you might have beautiful chassis 
we got our magnetics coming down the line. Again, insulation. Went with a new screen manufacturer, better operation on the radius screen. We have to radius whenever we put a, uh, a seat in the um, a chair. So no tension. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I like it. It stays where you leave it. One. Yep. Yep. Third yep. And they'll be popping that in here shortly. Which model is this? This is a T, a 24T, which designates, um, pardon me, this is a Q. Four seats. One, two, oh, three, even four. The fourth one. Yep. Now a T will have a cabinet and full size refrigerator here and and the and the chair. All the chairs, notice this bracketry, all your chairs are removable. You can remove them, leave them in the garage if you want to load it up with lights. Go ahead. Look in the back of this one. Back. Yeah. Reclining sofa then. Yep, reclining sofa. Very open too, nice and yep. light. Yep. Yeah. And then we're doing a TV reception test. We got our lagoon in. Again, another lithium. Gardner and Deb and I were talking, you know, the lithium started out at about 10 to 15 percent, then to 20 percent, then about 30 percent for the last couple years. This year, 2020, we're up to 60 percent take as far as an option on lithium, and, and you guys are perfect examples of, you know, it, it's it's a great system. It's a great system. We just don't have problems, and that goes back to the conversation. When I get support from really good suppliers, there's nothing we can't do, and there's nothing, you know. Um, we can really take care of the customers, and Xantrex has been a great partner. And I see also have two lagoons. On the, on the Galleria, we do do two, two lagoons. Yep. Um, we've switched over to the new um, Air XL remote controlled uh, roof vent. Okay. And an LG TV. LG TV. Is that 12, that's a 12 volt TV also? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see it plugged in yep. over there. That's nice. You have to put your inverter in to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I like the uh, one with the four seats. That's good for people with children. So we've met a lot of people who have a couple of children with them when they yep. RV. The 24Q before this COVID thing happened, the 24Q and the 24T were slowly losing to the 24A and the 24FL. Now, post COVID, everybody wants three and four seaters. We've got them for them. Little final finish area. Got furniture, product coming in. It's good to see. It's kind of tough to get things up here right now. Um, some manufacturers can't get microwaves, awnings, windows, heaters, etc., etc. So um, we know the industry's booming right now. We've been able to go just under the radar and uh, keep the, keep the keep the plant moving and keep keep our folks working. Here's all of our lagoon products set up. Doing. And then we come around to our final finish, which is here. And we touched on sumo springs, so Thad gets his hands on sumo, takes strips off everything on the chassis that was originally on there, and adds a sumo kit um, per chassis. Howdy, Hello. folks. And we just absolutely love um, Sumo. Now, this is the back end of a Mercedes. We take off this little, little, well, about the same size, but you cannot flex the Mercedes. Look at the cushion that this provides. That's a back end of a Mercedes. Um, you can see the springs down there for the Ford. And this okay. goes on the back of, I believe, the Nova, right? The Dodge. Yeah. Dodge. Um, there's black, there's blue, and there's yellow. Each one have their own density. Now, this isn't rubber. 
Rubber will break down. Why do you cover your, why do RV folks cover their tires in the summertime? Why is there vinyl tire covers? Yeah. Rubber breaks down with sunlight. This is all foam with uh, uh, the density is controlled by air bubbles in the foam mixture, so pretty neat. Thad brought up, this is what he takes off of a Mercedes. Mm -hmm. And it is, I could put this in a sock and really hurt somebody. Um, what we put back on is much more cushiony, um, much softer ride. And again, um, going back to a typical RVer versus a Class B customer. A typical RVer is going to go, if they got two weeks, they're going to go park two weeks at the campground. You folks are going to be on the road. You're going to be in your van or you're going to be driving a lot more than another, seg another customer in a different segment. We've got to pay attention to um, insulation. we got to pay attention to sound deadening and we got to pay attention to the ride. We had a previous Class B Sprinter and I took those off and I put the Sumo on. Yep. And yep. Big difference. Oh yeah. It was, um, it was like a, the difference was like a comfort level driving on the highway. It just felt It's better. It's confidence as well. Knowing, um, you know, Sumo for the Ford does a couple things. It gives, gives us a little bit lift in the back and our leafs for the Sumo, we might be out of them. We probably don't have them, but we put in a secondary leaf, adjustable leaf on the Ford, and then we put in a, um, a helper. A uh, front leaf spring or a, part, a, a, sp a front spring helper. Okay, when you've got your Beyond and you're driving down the road and you're a little heavy, um, all the weights typically in the rear, right? Um, and you take a right hand turn, you naturally want to get pulled left, right? If you're taking a sharp turn, so it just makes that spring a little bit softer yet rigid on on turning. So we really love uh, Sumo. That does a great job. They're a great company. Uh, support us greatly, so uh, we appreciate them. And that's about it. We've got chassis everywhere. Um, Gardner was going to get the drone out, and um, but I think we're no drone day today by yeah. the drone police or whoever. So I don't know what's going on up here, but um, you know, business is really fast paced right now. We're trying to fill all retail orders. Um, we're going to do it the way we've always done it. We're not going to rush things. Um, we really appreciate all your all's business and all your support. Um, I know Gardner's putting a lot of support out there on the face on uh, um, YouTube and their videos. I'm catching myself watching those often. Uh, just watched the recent uh, Route 66 where it went to dirt and nothing. Um, pretty cool, but you know that's where you can go with the Class B. You can go to the end, and um, there's no restrictions. And uh, as always, we're here for you. We appreciate your business. Um, Please let us know how we can always be better. I want to be the best for you guys. Uh, you're, you're very important, and we always appreciate your feedback. You know, one thing that we get from customers that come here every day is amazing, amazing feedback. That helps model change, product development, and um, you know, we can tell you guys really appreciate the product and care about it by all the feedback you give. So um, thank you to all of our customers, to all of our potential customers. Give us a call. Let us know if we can answer any questions. There's gonna be, we're gonna be uploading a ton of video content over the next 30 to 60 days that we hope that will help as well. And again, we appreciate you and uh, safe travels, folks. Thank you, Nick. No problem, appreciate, appreciate it, no problem. No problem, love seeing you folks.